On today's product review, I put a jellyfish on my Polymer 80. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Chang. I'm at the range here with a Strike Industries jellyfish and it is a transparent cover, uh, protective cover for the RMR. So I have this in uh, my safe rattling around in my truck on the way to the range and not liking that stuff's getting banged around. So found some silicone rubber covers on Amazon um, and then stumbled on this little thing here from uh, Strike Industry now, Industries. Now I've used some of their other products in AR builds. I like them. Uh, some of their other products they've used in AR builds, uh, not so much. So jury seems to be out with a lot of people. Some people say their stuff sucks. Some people seem to be super in love with their products. I've had good and bad uh, experiences with them. So I have here the Polymer 80 uh, that I've done a review on. I'll put a link uh, in one of the cards, probably right around here somewhere. Um, but to protect this, um, I wanted to have a cover here and semi-soft. Supposedly you just leave this on and, and, and look through it. Does have a really snug fit here with the uh, co-witnessed rear sight, um, but it just slides right on. Um, doesn't really come off unless you really pull on it. So seems to be okay. Um, I'm gonna reposition the camera here uh, so you can see if we can find the red dot through the camera lens here. So give me a second. All right, so there you can see it actually does show up through the uh, space, the clear spacing it has uh, the jellyfish has there so you can see the dot uh, it is smoked so it does make things a little bit darker I'm not sure that I'm gonna leave this on uh, while I shoot I will try it here and then come back with my final thoughts all right well there we go it's not gonna stay on under recoil um, so final thoughts here. Yes, I can see the dot through the cover. I think because of the fact that I have a uh, backup rear sight here, the cover just can't come down as far. Also, one thing to note about the cover here, they have pluses and minuses on either side, indicating that you should be able to use the buttons. And I have not been able to use the buttons with this cover on. So at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to use this as a protective cover. I won't be leaving it on when I shoot, even though I can see the dot. The target is, because of the smoke color, the target is pretty, uh, really obscured. It's hard to see. Um, maybe in defensive situation, that doesn't really matter. But for my purposes, if I'm shooting small steel targets or anything at a competition, uh, or just trying to do some marksmanship work for fun, that's not going to help me. So I will just uh, recommend using this as a cover and not as something that you leave on top to shoot with like uh, they, they advertise that you do. I uh, hope you found this useful. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel as well. And click that bell notification off to the right there so you're notified of any new content that we might have. As always, stay safe and we'll see you out on the range.